Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Apple ID and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question and that I've been getting a lot lately. And that is how do you change your Apple ID? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is actually going to be a really quick video. There's not a lot of steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to do this and you can do it all directly from your iPhone if you'd like. So why would you want to change your Apple ID? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you've changed email addresses across the board and you would like to use a new email as your Apple ID. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process and it's all handled through your browser. So first you need to go to this website right here, appleid.apple.com. Check my video description. I'll try to leave a quick link there. Once you're here, you will need to sign in with your current Apple ID. How do you do that? Just click right here on this little button right here, Apple ID. I'm going to click there now. All right. Once you click there, you want to enter in your current Apple ID and sign in to Apple. I'm going to do that off screen now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and entered in my current Apple ID. I'm going to click this little arrow right here now. Okay, next, the website's going to prompt you to enter in your password to your current Apple ID. I already entered in mine. I'm going to go ahead and click this little arrow now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and logged in. And once you've done that, you're going to come to your Apple ID account page that's going to show your Apple ID, your name, your date of birth, a lot of different information that you have logged in their account. But if you'd like to change your Apple ID on your iPhone, what you want to do is click right here on this little blue button called change Apple ID. I'm going to click there now. All right, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, you're going to get prompted to enter in the new email address that you would like to use as your Apple ID. One thing I want to let you know is if you are going to be changing your Apple ID to an iCloud.com email address, that's no problem at all. However, your iCloud email address has to be aged for at least 30 days. So for example, if you just created your iCloud email address two weeks ago, you are going to need to wait the full 30 days from when you first created it before it will be accepted as a new Apple ID. Also, I want to let you know that sometimes if you're entering a new email address as your new Apple ID, you will get an error that says that email address is already in use, which seems kind of strange because it's your email address, right? However, what you want to do is make sure that your family members are not using that already as their Apple ID, because if they're using it, you cannot use it. And if that's the case, they will need to remove it from their account before you can use it as your Apple ID. That's really a small chance of that happening. Also, another alternative is you can just simply use a different email address. Also, the next thing I want to know is that some places you can use a phone number as an Apple ID. I personally have never seen this. I don't know if it's available in the US. It might be in different countries, but according to Apple that you cannot switch from an email Apple ID into a phone number email Apple ID. So once you've entered in your new email address for your new Apple ID, you will receive a confirmation email from Apple that you do need to confirm. And that's the easiest way I know how to change your Apple ID. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.